Moments ago, R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison. This is a significant outcome for all victims of R. Kelly, and especially for the survivors who so bravely testified about the horrific and sadistic abuse they endured. R. Kelly is a predator, and as a result of our prosecution, he'll serve a long jail sentence for his crimes. With the aid of his fame, his money, and most importantly, his inner circle, R. Kelly preyed upon children and young women for his own sexual gratification for decades. He used coercive control, exemplified by a pattern of isolation, rules, dependence, threats, intimidation tactics, physical abuse, and at least once, the presence of a gun to force victims, including minors, to engage in sexual activity with him and others and to become unwilling participants in the pornographic films he wrote, produced, and directed. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Steve Francis, the Executive Associate Director for Homeland Security Investigations, HSI. Robert Kelly once said, if you're going to tell your life story, you got to be honest or don't do it. Over the course of this HSI-led multi-year investigation and six-week trial, a jury of Mr. Kelly's peers confirmed what these courageous victims have known for a very long time. Mr. Kelly is not an honest person. This man is a prolific serial predator who utilized his status as a Grammy award-winning household name with global recognition to inflict pain and anguish on so many victims. We are excited for this appeal that we are bringing. Um, obviously, you know, it was a hard day. Uh, he's been sentenced to a serious sentence, but we are confident uh, in our arguments that we raised in our post-trial motions that although they didn't persuade the district court judge, that they will persuade the Court of Appeals. We've always believed in those arguments, and we believe that this enterprise was overcharged and that the circuit, Second Circuit Court of Appeals will see it that way. Uh, he was, we just went over some of the...